Hi guys, it's Christine from Tamar's Hope and uh, I wanted to come on here and I um, <clears throat> was given some information last night um, from my husband right before I went to sleep and upon waking up this morning and there's been um there's been some new new information that has come out on the Mike Bickle and the International House of Prayer Kansas City uh founder on sexual abuse allegations and I have to tell you, I am, wow, just unimaginable every time I think that this story can't get any, I mean, and I, I have to say that I, I do know, I, I have said to my husband, uh, I, I, I believe that this is going to get worse before it gets better. And I have to say that I see that happening right now and right before my very eyes and it is just oh my gosh there's no words um and I have to say that the information that has come out was with a uh, a victim uh right now uh she's a Jane Doe and um just the the content that was released is, you know, it, for me as a survivor of sexual abuse, I definitely understand the dynamics and the nuances of how this played out. Um, just, you know, there was some emails that have been released and from Mike Bickle to her uh, just very intimidating emails and I will come on again and I will do another video and I will put them in the community section of my channel and also there was uh, Michelle I think her name is Stifer and she released this some this information stating this is some some of the this is some more of the story that might help us to put stuff into, you know, everything into perspective. And, you know, there was a prophecy that he gave to this, at the time, 19, 20 year old, who was, um, I guess on staff, she was on staff there and he took her to Paris and, um, she states that claims that he was uh, giving her prophecies to sexually abuse her. And one of the prophecies was about his wife dying and that he was going to marry her. And his wife's name is Diane. And my heart just goes out to her and breaks for her. And in no way do I, do I come in here and, you know, mock anyone's pain. I, I just can't believe the story of the prophecy that he said that his wife was going to die and w when they were in Paris and that he, he would marry her. And it turns out that he was a friend of the, the he's a, was a friend of her father. And there were four other girls that went on this trip with them and it, was stated that he had disappeared at certain times during the trip so who knows you know if he was doing this to the other girls or all of the other Jane Doe's that are out there and just you know waiting for um some type of justice you know for this because um it just it really you know, I knew it from really from the beginning, you know, in my heart of hearts, I knew that this really, like I said, had all the hallmarks of sexual abuse and uh, and uh, <clears throat> scenarios and written all over it. 
And so those emails have come out with him threatening her and intimidating her and withdrawing financial funding from her. And, um, you know, just this, this trip to Paris that, that he took and, uh, how he was the, she said, the Jane Doe said that they had done everything sexually except intercourse. And, um, and that he was giving a prophecy to her one night and about this Princess Diana prophecy that his wife was going to die and that he would wind up marrying her. And I just want to say that as a survivor, I went through something very similar to that. And it wasn't exactly that situation, obviously. But in the situation that I was in, it was just the same type of uh, perverse spiritual manipulation and what happens in a survivor's mind at that time it's like your mind is just your mind is just a bowl of mush and you're so confused and you don't know what you know the end from the beginning you don't know which way you're going and you're all over the place and you're thinking and you know this person has such a like a mind control over you and you really believe that what they're saying is true and it's like this cognitive dissonance comes over you and and you have like what's similar to well what stock what's referred to as Stockholm syndrome where you begin to actually feel pity and love for your perpetrator and um, when I heard my husband, you know, when he came to me yesterday and he gave me last night, you know, before bed, he gave me this information. Wow, I just, you know, it really brought me back to a place of like, yeah, I, I definitely can relate. Like, I can totally see how that whole scenario just played out and really just. You know, being 19 years old, that was used the time that I was being abused. And then this older man, he, he well, he was 42, um, but my abuser was a lot older as well. And just the way that you look up to them and you feel like they're just the, you know, the greatest gift of, of God. And, you know, there's nothing else in the world like them because that's what they're telling you and you believe them you're 19 years old and you don't know any better and you don't have any life experience under your belt and you trust them because they're spiritual authority they're a spiritual leader over you so i mean what else are you gonna what else are you gonna think right and you trust them and there's a rapport that has been established and trust and and then this person starts abusing you sexually and your mind gets all twisted and bent out of shape and you don't, like I said, you don't know the end from the beginning. You don't know what's going on. There's so much confusion and chaos and, and you can't make sense of any of it because it's that cognitive dissonance that really takes over. And, um, even dissociation where you just can't believe it, just like we can't believe what it, what, what's happening right now right um so I just wanted to come on here and just share that real quick and say that you know there's just this breaking news with this um this Jane Doe that has come forward and has released uh these statements claiming that you know he was um in you know this sexual affair with her or not no, it wasn't an affair. Let me restate that. This sexually abuse a relationship with her. Um, and yeah, it just, um, you know, and taking her to Paris and, you know, promising to marry her. And, and this is a really sick and twisted pervertedness of it all. And I just want to come on and say it's so, it's so, you know, important that we really be careful about the spiritual leaders on our lives and who we put on a pedestal and, you know, who we give that, um, well, we shouldn't give anybody that position, you know, of, of God, of God figure in our life, but 
you know, just how important it is to um, really stay connected with God and, you know, just be very careful about who we let into our lives and who we trust and even those in spiritual leadership and authority and especially those in spiritual leadership and authority. And um, so, yeah, that that's it for now. There's probably more I want to say, but I think I'm just going to digest this and process this a little bit more and come on and do a, another video and another time later on. All right. Um, God bless you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.